I'm glad you made it, Inquisitor. I fear they've already started the ritual. Blood magic, I'd wager. You can smell it. Or see the corpses. You take point. I'll guard your backs. Wait! No! Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong! Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice! Oh. Now bind it, just as I showed you. Inquisitor! What an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Eremond of Virantium, at your service. You are no warden. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? Wardens, this man is lying to you. He serves an ancient of Intermagister who wants to unleash a blight. That's a very serious accusation. Let's see what the Wardens think. Wardens, hands up! Hands down. Corypheus has taken their minds. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the Wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. Even to Vinter. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarel full of sympathy, and together... We came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. Corypheus marching across Orlais with an army of demons. I was shown that back at the Seeker Fortress. And now you know how it begins. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Thedas. Do you really want to see the world fall to the Blight? What do you get out of this? The Elder One commands the Blight. He is not commanded by it, like the mindless Darkspawn. The Blight is not unstoppable or uncontrollable. It is simply a tool. Somebody's certainly a tool. As for me, while the Elder One rules from the Golden City, we, the Venatori, will be his god-kings here in the world. Why would the Wardens try to kill the old gods? A Blight happens when Darkspawn find an old god and corrupt it into an archdemon. If someone fought through the deep roads and killed the old gods before they could be corrupted, woof! No more blights, ever. The Wardens sacrificed their lives and saved the world. Although I fear history will remember them a little differently now. So Corypheus influenced the Wardens and made them do this ritual? <laughs> made them? No! Everything you see here, the blood sacrifices to bind the demons, the Wardens did it of their own free will. Fear is a very good motivator. 
And they were very afraid. That's a lie. The Grey Wardens are heroes. They would never do this willingly. The Grey Wardens care about nothing save stopping blights. They will do anything to accomplish that. You should have seen Clarell agonize over the decision. Burdens of command, I suppose. Why would Clarell risk using demons? Demons need no food, no rest, no healing. Once bound, they will never retreat, never question orders. They are the perfect army to fight through the deep roads. Or across all a. Now they are bound to my master. Release the Wardens from the binding and surrender. I won't ask twice. No, you won't. The Elder One showed me how to deal with you in the event you were foolish enough to interfere again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the Fade. When I bring him your head, his gratitude will be... Well, you were correct. Through their ritual, the mages are slaves to Corypheus. And the Warden Warriors? Oh, of course. It's not real blood magic until someone gets sacrificed. Human sacrifice? Demon summoning? Who looks at this and thinks it's a good idea? The fearful and the foolish. The Wardens were wrong, Hawk. But they had their reasons. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. I believe I know where the Wardens are, Your Worship. Eremond fled in that direction. There's an abandoned Warden fortress that way. Adamant. Good thinking. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant, and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. I tracked that Venatory mage back to Adamant Fortress. They're looking at assault options now in the War Room. Thanks for coming. You did well, Varric. The Inquisitor is just who we need. Thoughts? Oh, it's been great. Murderous Wardens, Archdemon attacks. Plenty of blood mages and crazy Templars. Just like home. I know how much you hated leaving Kirkwall. This is the ass end of Thetis. You know they eat snails here? Still, I, I think I, uh, I need to finish this out. If it weren't for me and Bartrand, none of this would have happened. So much for changing our lives. That's what happens when you try to change things. Things change. You can't always control how. I tracked the Wardens to Adamant Fortress, Inquisitor. Your specialists have my full report. Adamant Fortress has stood against the Darkspawn since the time of the Second Blight. Fortunately for us, that means it was built before the age of modern siege equipment. A good trebuchet will do major damage to those ancient walls. And thanks to our Lady Ambassador... Lady Cyril of Jader was pleased to lend the Inquisition her sabers. They've already delivered the trebuchets. That is the good news. None of that accounts for the Wardens summoning a giant demon army. That is the bad news. The Inquisition forces can breach the gate, but if the Wardens already have their demons, 
I found records of Adamant's construction. There are choke points we can use to limit the field of battle. That's good. We may not be able to defeat them outright. But if we cut off reinforcements, we can carve you a path to Warden Commander Clorel. So our plan is to lay siege to a legendary fortress filled with demons. It'll be hard fought, no way around it. But we'll get that gate open. It's also possible that some Wardens may be sympathetic to our cause. The warriors may be willing to listen to reason, though I doubt they will turn against Clorel directly. The mages, however, are slaves to Corypheus. They will fight to the death. We've built the siege engines and readied our forces, Inquisitor. Give the word, and we march on Adamant. <laughs>